Getting people to sign up and then attend your event is always a challenge. Thankfully, AI is here to help. I'm Scott Meyer, this is 5-Minute AI, where we help you live well and work smart with just a little bit of AI. Today, we wanna unlock a new feature in ChatGPT, which is called Code Interpreter. Now, Code Interpreter essentially means that ChatGPT can now look at data and give you insights. Now, what's powerful about this is you can upload information from previous events and get powerful insights to help you improve future events. So we're gonna look at how to use Code Interpreter with a simple spreadsheet from a webinar signup. Based on this simple spreadsheet, we're gonna get examples or tips on how to get more people to sign up for future events and how to get those people to actually attend. So let's head over to the computer. I'll show you how to put this idea into action with a little AI. Now to get started with Code Interpreter and start visualizing and dissecting our data, you can go to chat.openai.com. You have to click on chat GPT-4 which is a paid account. So this is the $20 a month pro account to have access to this. And then you'll see Code Interpreter as an option. So when I click on Code Interpreter, what it allows me to do now is to upload files to ChatGPT. So I'm gonna click the plus sign, and then I'm gonna have the option to upload a file. So I'll go to my documents here and upload this. This is a document that is signups from a webinar that I hosted. So then I'm gonna ask questions about this document. So I'm gonna ask it to create a graph showing signup trends and provide insights with via visualizations and how to get more signups. So essentially look at my signups for our webinar and how could I improve my marketing or get more people to take action. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send on this. And what's really interesting about code visualization is it's doing work for you and it'll show you the work that it's doing. So if I want to, I can click in here and see what did it do? It, it digested that document. It ran some uh, Python, it looks like but it's gonna give me the rundown of its takeaways. So here you can see it's gonna tell me what the data says, what's in it, and then give me some suggestions. So ChatGPT and Code Interpreter have been working for about 30 seconds and it's already done. So what's interesting is it'll walk you through the steps that it took. I can go look at it if I want, but it'll kind of tell me what it did. So first it looked at the number of signups per day and made a simple graph for me. And it even gives me a little bit of an interpretation. But without me asking, it goes to the next step and actually dissects whether these signups led to people joining the event, which was on my spreadsheet. So it did some more calculations without being prompted and then showed me the ratio of users who joined an event after signing up. And then it gave me more analysis, right? So it shows that users who joined an event after signing up each day, the ratio was low at the beginning, got higher, right? Which you can see in the graph. And then it gave me some great insights and tips. So I should think about getting more people signed up with promotions like I did on the 14th. Think about improving conversion, consistent signups after that first day, looking at the join ratio. So some really great ideas. Then I can even ask more questions. I could ask questions about creating one of those strategies, or I could ask to give me a visualization in a different format. So can you create the visualizations in a bar graph or something like that? Let's see what it does. So in just a few seconds, it recreates the graph for me, just how I asked it to do for both of, of the documents that it digested. Then it gave me more suggestions on how to improve. And I could go on and on just asking it to tweak these graphs to whatever I needed, right? If I wanna change the y-axis, if I wanna take different timeframes. So you can imagine how code interpreter, which is really more like a data interpreter, could be incredibly powerful, uh, not only to digest information, but to get recommendations. So if you have financial documents, if you're trying to look at productivity numbers, at sales numbers, at inventory, this is all amazing use cases of Code Interpreter. I think it's a powerful tool that not a lot of people are using yet that you can use today to save a little bit of time to work smart and live a little bit better with just a little bit of AI. We look forward to seeing you soon at 5min.ai. Have a great day.